Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you are here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about why your mindset matters. You know, your mindset refers to whether you believe qual qualities such as intelligence and talent are fixed or changeable traits. You know, there's two different types of mindsets. So people with a fixed mindset believe that these qualities are inborn, they're fixed and they're unchangeable. Like you're born with the amount of intelligence you have, you're born with your abilities, and it is what it is, right? It's your lot in life, right? But those that have a growth mindset, on the other hand, they believe that these abilities can be developed and strengthened by way of commitment and hard work. So they can develop and grow. They're not stuck with what they were born with or what they learned. Now they can grow. They can continue to grow. And obviously, that's where you want to be, right? <laughs> so those with a fixed mindset frame of mind, they tend to feel like that their skills their potential and their abilities are predetermined and you're not able to be to prove improve upon those right these people tend to feel powerless over any ability to manipulate their preordained possibly genetic skills and talents you know like they're like well everybody in my family was a I don't know what uh, electrician so that's what I have to be because I'm not able to do anything else or you know I mean it's just they, they just feel like that they have their lot in life and and um, and actually, that's kind of sad because, because those that have a growth mindset, they're open to the idea that there's always room for improvement if they're willing to work hard enough at it. And overwhelmingly, those people are often more successful in whatever venture that they choose to participate. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. So in fact, people that have a growth mindset, people that are in that category, they're far more optimistic about who's calling the shots concerning their own abilities to turn any situation into something that works better for them. They know, you know, if it is to be, it's up to me, right? <laughs> you remember that saying, right? But it's true, right? And, and it's thought that just like any habit or belief, your mindset was formed when you were a child, you know? So if you have, if you tend to have a fixed mindset, Children um, who are taught that they should look smart instead of loving learn to um, develop a fixed mindset. They become more concerned with how they are being judged and fear that they might not live up to expectations. They just, because they always feel like they're not good enough, right? Or that they, they have to be something. Right. But, but key people who have, are that develop a grown, growth mindset, they tend to be kids who are taught to explore and embrace new experiences and enjoy challenges. Those pe those kids are more likely to, to develop a growth mindset as they're growing up. And rather than seeing mistakes as setbacks, they're willing to try new things and to make mistakes and errors all in the name of learning and achieving their potential. Hi, Aaron. Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Thanks for being here. So the difference in, in your mindset, you know, whether you have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset, that determines how much control that a person has over their own life, right? The primary one being how a person views mistakes or obstacles and the attitude that they foster when the inevitable hindrances come up, right? So for example, those with a fixed mindset are apt to become easily discouraged when things don't go their way, you know, and they're far, far more likely to throw in the towel, so to speak, that the first time they get a setback because they kind of think, well, I wasn't meant to be for me anyway. I should have known. And then they throw in the towel, right? And they give up. But, but those people that have a growth mindset, they're far more optimistic in their outlook and they adopt more of an opportunistic approach to problems, meaning that they make the best of it and they try to turn negativity into a chance to learn and hopefully grow from whatever hindrance that they might encounter. So they encounter a hindrance and instead of throwing in the towel, they're like, oh, gee, that didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, let me try this. Right. So given what's already understood about the two opposite approaches to mindset, clearly the fixed mindset doesn't leave much room for growth or learning or personal prosperity, while the growth mindset is the healthier, more positive option that's most likely to maximize your success and subsequent overall happiness in your life. Our mindset also affects us in other ways besides our ability to grow and prosper and be successful. So for one, there's the knowledge that our mindset can have a major impact on our health and our physical well-being. That's pretty, that's pretty profound, huh? 
A person who tends to be consistently being discouraged or depressed is far more likely to have that morose mentality which suppresses their immune system, which then in turn means that if they have a fixed mindset, people that have that mindset are more likely, they're more prone to illnesses and they tend to take longer to recover from whatever ailment that, that they've had, right? Um, because that defeated attitude kind of suggests, I mean, it kind of subjected them to, to being sick more often and they don't recover as fast. But people with a growth mindset tend to become sick less often and most certainly tend to be happier and healthier. So like any habit or belief, your mindset can be changed. It's generally agreed on upon, among psychology and other professionals, you know, that any person ultimately does have control over what their mentality is, what mentality they choose to foster. And that's great news, right? That's, that's awesome news because that means it's up to you. If you happen to be someone who's been operating with a fixed mindset, you can make the transition to a far more positive growth mindset no matter where you are in your life. You can work on improving your mindset so that you too can have a growth mindset and you can have more control over how you respond to the things that happen in your life so you can turn them around. So look, let's look at some things to try to help you to, to do that, to make that change, right? So the first one, explore and identify your limiting beliefs. So what are your most limiting views about your learning abilities? You know, what is it that you believe and what is it that's holding you back? So write them down in detail and, and, and provide yourself examples from the past which justify those beliefs. And be honest with yourself, right? It doesn't do any good. You don't have to tell anybody else, but it doesn't do any good if you're not honest with yourself, right? But try to think of all the times in the past when your own beliefs got in the way of your learning. And then cross-examine yourself, you know, pretend like you're a lawyer and you're in court and cross-examine those limiting beliefs through the lens of a growth mindset, just as a prosecution lawyer would, you know, it would analyze a defense testimony in court. So think of examples of the past where your effort led to progress, where you did lead to progress. And so then ask yourself if those limiting beliefs stand up to the test now, right? You made the effort and you achieved success. So maybe you weren't really not meant to not be able to do it because you did it, right? My guess is when you cross-examine and you think of those examples in your past, you're going to find that, that, um, that your beliefs won't, won't stand the test because the growth mindset encourages for you to take responsibility for the results you get rather than blaming external factors. So you get to take responsibility. You get to say, no, that's not my day to do this. This isn't happening today, right? And then practice the growth mindset. A growth mindset is something you have to practice consistently over time, just like anything else. It's just like a habit or, or a belief or anything, right? And so if your limiting beliefs pop up again in your mind, just re remind yourself that, no, you're in control today. You have the ability to make that decision. And then when you wake up every morning, ask yourself these three questions. What are opportunities for learning and growth today? What can I, what can I you know, learn and grow today with? And then ask yourself, when, where, and how will I embark on my plan? Or when, where, and how will I act on my plan? You know, your mindset matters, seriously. So set your mind. The mindset you cultivate will make all the difference in your experience and in your perceptions. Because your mindset, is the software that helps you deal with the day-to-day -day experiences. It filters out everything that comes your way. So your mindset determines what information you pay attention to and which ones you value and which ones are beneficial to ignore. And so if your mindset is not right, a lot of opportunities will come your way you won't even see because, that, because you haven't, your, your mind hasn't made the attention, made made the um, decision to pay attention to that, right? We have so many things coming at us all day long. Our brain actually filters what, what's important and what isn't. And um, if it comes across your lens and you don't notice it, how can it help you, right? So it's worth investing the time and the energy to evaluate and cultivate the mindset you want. Seriously, it will change your mind. <laughs> so hey, now I'd love to hear from you. Did you know about the growth and fixed mindset ideas already? Do you have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset? What kinds of things do you do to work on your mindset? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories. So thanks for being live with me, Karen and Aaron, the rhyming names, Karen and Aaron. Thank you for being here. And anyone else who might be here who just hasn't commented and anyone who's watching the replay, I appreciate you. So go out there, have an amazing day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.